Hello, I'm David Holton, contributing to the 21 Poems into 21 podcast for the British School at Athens. I've chosen to read the sonnet Excelsior by the Corfiat poet Lorenzos Mavilis. Mavilis is not one of the best-known Greek poets, but he has a certain relevance to the celebration of the 1821 bicentenary, as I hope to show. He was born in 1860. His father was a Corfiat nobleman of Spanish descent, and his mother came from an aristocratic family of Corfu. This background enabled him to study abroad for more than a decade, and then to become a gentleman scholar, pursuing his interests in philosophy and literature. He translated a number of literary works from Latin, English, German, and Italian into Greek, but it's as a poet that he achieved his lasting reputation, with his idiosyncratic combination of melancholic introspection and romantic idealism. He is remembered particularly for his 56 sonnets, which exemplify a preoccupation with the intricacies of poetic form, coupled with an old-fashioned romanticism. Mavilis was also a fervent patriot. He volunteered to fight in the Cretan uprising of 1896. He fought again in Epirus in 1897, and finally met his death on the battlefield during the Balkan War of 1912. The poem I'm going to read relates to the first of these military engagements, at a time when Crete was still under Ottoman rule. The goal was Enosis, union with the fatherland, Greece. The Latin title of this sonnet, Excelsior, with an exclamation mark, has puzzled some scholars. It means ever higher. Mavilis actually borrowed it from a poem of the same title by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. That poem, set to music by the Irish composer Michael Balfe, became a popular Victorian drawing-room ballad of a rather melodramatic and sentimental kind. Mavilis applies the title to the steep climb from Sfakia up the narrow gorge to Nimbro in the White Mountains of Crete, an ascent which he undertook with a band of Cretan fighters in the summer of 1896. In the poem, he first describes the hospitality that awaits them in Nimbro, then the arduous ascent they must first make, finally stressing their stamina and patriotic resolve. Mavilis's verses are characterised by an impressive range of technical devices, enjambement, multiple synaesis, alliteration, rich rhyme, all in a colourful demotic. I'll first read the poem in Greek, then my translation of it. Excelsior Crio crustalo nero, ta elio frimena hilia thou grani. Evienica anthropoti, thatus philepsi, plusio phagopoti. Cormia ptim blithia chari ala frimena, a galmata theon zon danemena. Tagnan depsun sti nimbro. Eki tim broti tis lefterias as trafteri lambroti tas tithia thacharun taponemena. Kerniforun i vlamides levendes ta teliotov parangi olo chaliki monoskini me yelia ke cuvendes. Ma echon podaria ke cardies tseliki. Matus terievi elpida tu thanatu, metayasmena dafno stefanatu. Excelsior. Cold crystal water will at length revive those sun parched lips. A people unsurpassed in nobleness will spread a rich repast. Bodies lightened with ample grace and drive, statues of deities brought back to life, they'll look on Nimbro. There, all suffering past, 
their aching breasts with joy will see at last the first bright flash of freedom after strife. And now the noble warriors ascend the long ravine and stumble on the shale. In single file their talk and laughter blend. But these men all have legs and hearts of steel. Their inspiration is the hope of death, their only prize its sacred laurel wreath.